All right, welcome back once again to the channel where we provide odds with value. And as we all know, with the international break is here. And I believe this is the final international break before the year comes to an end. You need to have the African Cup of Nations qualifiers, uh, World Championship qualification for South America and also Asia, and the UEFA Nations League and lots more. We just hope for the very best. And me being realistic to everybody, teams have been performing poorly and it has been affecting us. So far... The bookmakers has been gaining. That is just the reality. The way teams have been performing, the bookmakers has been gaining. But I believe that everything is going to turn around. That is just it. I know that's been really, really crazy. Not even from my own predictions, you understand. From your own self, let's be realistic, you understand. Let's face reality. When you select your own games by your own self, you see how it always ends, you understand. It's not every time you see winnings. Understand? Like, for example, look at what Tottenham did to a lot of people. Is it on Saturday or on Sunday? The same Tottenham that beat Man City, beat Aston Villa, went to lose to Ipswich in Tottenham's home. Man City losing four in a row. And there are a lot of people that went with Man City to win in that four in a row. And they lost all those four times. And other crazy performance from other teams. The reality of it is that the beginning of this season and up to now, teams have been really, really crazy. And there have been a lot of games, the Champions League, Europa League, Conference League, a lot of match congestion. I know players are tired, I know. But let's be realistic, teams have been performing poorly. But nevertheless, we are not giving up. And I believe we are going to bounce back to winning ways. Understand? I will do my best. I'm giving you the assurance, I will do my best. I will keep on doing my best. What I just need from you guys is your support and your love. Don't give up on me. Don't give up on JB. Definitely we are going to bounce back. And once we start winning, it's going to be massive, I believe. God helping us. So keep on showing love and support to the channel. So let's dive into the business of today. For the past three days, I've not posted anything. I took a short break because the games for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday is not that good. So I just decided to take a break. But the last time we posted was on Sunday when you had a three odds sleep winning. And before I talk about that three odds we won, I released a video on Tuesday talking about how you can use the SofaScore app to increase your predicting accuracy. So if you've not watched that video, the link to watch the video is pinned in the comment section. So ensure that you're done taking today's predictions, go to the comment section, click the link to take you to the video or go to my previous videos or click on my page to click my previous videos, then watch the video from there. But for easy access, check the link I pinned in the comment section. And also, if you've not downloaded the SofaScore app, ensure you are downloading the app. Please and please. It's very, very important. The link to download the app is pinned in the comment section. Use that link I pinned there to download the SofaScore app. So let's dive into the business of today. So guys, I'm um, talking about our previous results. We had three odds winning. That was for Sunday. And we had five matches. The first match was between Inter Milan versus Napoli. My predictions was Inter Milan to win or draw. And Inter Milan was supposed to win that game. Hakan Chahagnoglu that scored the first goal missed a penalty in the second half, making them end that game 1-1. So it was a success. We had um, Sheffield United versus Sheffield Wednesday. My predictions was the Sheffield United to win or draw, in which they did. They won 1-0. We also had from the Turkey Super League, Galatasaray versus Samsung Spur. My predictions was over two goals. And I remember vividly I said that game is going to produce a lot of goals because Samsung Spur has been doing well. They were second in the table. And Galatasaray also has been doing well. So I was expecting a lot of goals in that game. And Galatasaray won 3-2. It was a success. We had Kilmanok versus Celtic. I was very, very happy when I saw Celtic winning that game 2-0. Despite the game was looking difficult for Celtic. But Celtic managed to win the first half and also win the second half. And we had double chance either the home team or the away team to win. In which Celtic won 0-2. And finally, one of the most interesting games on Sunday was the game between Chelsea versus Arsenal. After I did my analysis, I found out that there's a very good chance and very high chance at least one goal will come in second half, in which my predictions was second half over 0.5 goals, in which they did as expected. They scored the two goals in the second half. And that three odds was successful. So if you won from it, congratulations. If you did not stick on it, today is another day and wish ourselves all the best. So ensure you are hitting the like button and subscribe if you have not subscribed. It's very, very important. Please, guys, we are aiming for 1,000 likes today. Hit the like button. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not subscribed. For more free football predictions, the link to join my Telegram is pinned in the comment section. So we have um, two slips for today. 
Our sleep one is a two odd sleep that has three matches, and our sleep two is a three odd sleep that has two matches. So let's dive into it. The first game on our sleep one, in which is two odds, is from the UEFA Nations League, in which you have Kazakhstan versus Austria. And before I call my prediction, if you look at the table, I don't have the table here, but I remember when I was working on it, Austria, Norway, and Slovenia has the same points, seven, seven points each. And Kazakhstan has nothing to play for again in these uh, group stages. They have nothing to play for. Even though they win this match against Austria and win their next match, they will still be dead last. You understand? So I believe... This game is going to be in favor of Austria because Slovenia takes on Norway later today. You understand? And it's going to be a very tight match between Slovenia and Norway. That is why Austria has to take this match very, very serious in order to be first on that group. So I believe Austria has a very high chance of coming out as the winner with a very good scoreline of 0-2. 0 to Kazakhstan, 2 to Austria. So my prediction here is Austria to win in full time. So that's the first game. So the second game here, we have it to be Greece versus England. Funny enough, Greece has not lost any game in this group. And the last time they met, Greece defeated England in Wembley 2-1. And there's a very good chance that Greece will not lose this match. Because Greece are very, very solid. And they have a very good team play or team spirit. Their team spirit is very, very high. And there's a very good chance that these two teams will score themselves. 1-1 draw or one of them winning 2-1. I don't know who's going to win that game. But England needs this game. And also Greece needs this game. So that first position, they don't live there. Understand? So I believe Greece will highest come out with a draw in this match today. So my prediction here is two goals ahead handicap to the home team, in which is Greece, at full time. So first game, Austria to win in full time. Second game, Greece, two goals ahead handicap to them. Remember, there's a very good chance for over 1.5 and both teams to score for Greece and England. And finally, a game between Slovenia and Norway. Like I explained before, it's a very tough group. Slovenia has 7 points, Norway has 7 points, Austria has 7 points. So, this game between Slovenia and Norway, I believe is going to produce goals. The last time Norway played Slovenia, Norway beat Slovenia 3-0. And I believe Slovenia will want to take a revenge on Norway. So I'm expecting Norway also to play well and score goals, you understand? That's why I'm expecting a good number of goals to come out in this game. Highest, 1-1 or 2-1. Somebody winning 2-1 or 1-1 in full time. But there's a very high chance that the both teams will score themselves. You understand? Because none of them will want to lose this game. And they prefer to end this game in a draw. 1-1 draw than seeing themselves losing to each other. So a 1-1 draw of a correct score score line is highly likely so my prediction here is over 1.5 goals in full time so three games two odd austria to win in full time two goals ahead handicap to greece and finally slovenia versus norway over 1.5 goals in full time so talking about our second game in which is three odds two games three odds we have the first game to be kazakhstan versus austria and my prediction here is both teams to score no is at 1.80 odds. And secondly, Slovenia versus Norway, both teams to score yes at 1.95 odds. Summing it to be 3.88 odds, almost four odds. So two games, three odds. And I've given you the reasons why uh, Slovenia and Norway should be scoring themselves. The reasons have been stated. And also this game between Kazakhstan and Austria, Kazakhstan has nothing to play for. Even though they win all their remaining games, in which is two games remaining, this one and their last game, there's nothing for Kazakhstan. Austria needs this game more than Kazakhstan. So, my prediction here is uh, Kazakhstan versus Austria, both teams to score no, in which I've given you my scoreline already. Zero to Kazakhstan, two to Austria. Then finally, Slovenia versus Norway, both teams to score. One one is my correct score. Oh, highest yes, somebody wins two one, but I don't know who is going to take that lead. But Slovenia are really coming in for revenge, so I'm expecting goals in that game. So, guys, two games, three odds, and I wish us all the best and I wish us success. Remember, stake what you can afford to lose, and I believe today we're going to record a good amount of success. And I also drop a good predictions on my Telegram, so ensure you are joining my Telegram. The link is pinned in the comment section. I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day, and bye. For now.